What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the channel, man. This your boy Reese Bo Squeeze. Back with another video, man. Tw uh, what is it? Pop the balloon to find love with Arlette. But we just want to react to this one, though. You feel me? Let's go ahead and get into it. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? My name is Johiko Rodriguez. Johiko? Yes. Okay. Johiko. I am 39 years old. And what do you do? I am a dedicated and passionate social worker, and I also have several businesses. I also um, own an event planning and hosting business, nice. and I also do an intimate fitness courses. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you a busy, busy lady, ain't it? <laughs> now, what are some things I could do for fun? Um, well, I try to travel at least once or twice a month, if not every other month. I just came from Aruba last weekend. I'm Ooh. here this weekend. Who knows where I'm going to be next week? Once or twice a month. Damn, niggas don't even vacation once a year these days. <laughs> Okay. Um, I'm a social, I, I'm a social butterfly. So I like to be in social, social settings. Butterfly. So anything that involves karaoke, happy hour, day parties, things yeah. of that nature. We work hard, so you know we got to play, play hard. hard. Uh huh. Ain't that social? <laughs> now, what are some things you look for in a man? Um, first, it's compatibility. Mm -hmm. um, exterior definitely is important. I love a guy that looks good, mm -hmm. but the interior matters more, like your character and you know, like who you are as a person. Yeah. Um, your health i love someone that's fun and energetic and social like me um yeah okay <laughs> now what are some of your deal breakers my deal breakers i don't do addictions so if you're addicted to porn only fans gambling damn hey i know a lot of y'all out there addicted to porn and gambling and shit <laughs> mm, i do none of that um lying um someone who's judgmental mm -hmm um yeah okay damn uh, so we did get a pop let's go on over there see why they ended up bruh judgmental or a liar or what all right if we can have your name and age i'm brian 38 i'm brian 38 you see how you doing i'm good in yourself good good um all right brian why did you end up popping your balloon well she, physically she's not my type um that's pretty much it um oh. physically not my type okay Got that's it, okay now is nah, uh, Brian OG. someone that's your type? Um, I would say no. And why not? Her outfit look wild though. Like why she got like a what is that, like a half blazer or some shit? Um, I'm more into someone that just dresses a little bit more I mean I'm I, I want someone that dresses diverse. Diverse. Uh, but just someone that for this occasion, I think you should come with your best impression, so um, no. Nah. Yeah, for this occasion, I think you should come with your back. This nigga got the J's tied up. You know he from the north. <laughs> bro, if you from down south or something, bro, you in Florida or Georgia, like, niggas don't tie their Jordans, man. Tying your J's is crazy work. Best impression, so, um, yeah, that's it. But you're, you're a very good looking guy, I'm not gonna lie. Nice height. I like the size of the jeans. You look good. Appreciate you. No right. problem. Let's go to our next pop balloon here. If we can have your name and age. I'm Johnny, I'm 58. Okay. And Johnny, why did you end up popping your balloon? I'm Johnny. What did you say you 58? Name and age. I'm Johnny, I'm 58. Okay. And Johnny, why did you end up popping your balloon? I'm just into a more like taller girl. Okay. Why not? But you're gorgeous. Thank you. No problem. Thank you so much. <laughs> no problem. Now, is Johnny your type? Um, I would say no. Okay. <laughs> Why not? Um, just the wardrobe. And just looking at the exterior. I haven't heard anything from you yet, so, you know, I can't say too much. But just from looking on the outside, I just feel, again, you know, being that this is a dating show, mm -hmm. um, you know, you got to come with your best. Indeed. I yeah. understand. Okay. Have a good night. You too. Thank you. <laughs> that bitch say have a good night. Back here, <laughs> your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Yeah, my name is Micah. I'm 42. And uh, the reason, Mike. how you doing? I'm good, and yourself? Doing good, thanks. Okay. So the reason I popped was just the the attraction wasn't there for me. Okay. Physical attraction wasn't there. Okay. Was there this nigga got a big body and a little head talking about attraction. Come on, man. Something specific? Uh, really nothing specific, just not the physical attraction wasn't there. Okay, okay. Yeah. Got okay. it, got it. Now, is Micah someone that's your type? Yeah, actually, Mike would be someone that's my type. Um, very nice looking. I love someone that's super well-groomed. The beard is looking on point, hair is on point. Yeah, the aesthetics, I'm here for it. 
I appreciate that. Thank no you. No problem. Thank you. Welcome. <laughs> One down here. Let's head on over here. Nobody likes Shawty. All right, your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. I'm Danny. Hey, Danny. How What's are you? Up? What's your name again? Chohiko. Chohiko. Yes. Well, I'm big on... Nigga look like Baby Blue, man. Nigga about to start singing a pretty Ricky song. My body, your body. <laughs> you know, having a type, you know, and then she described her type pretty much to the T and I didn't see myself in it. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta do a dash about me. And if you ain't willing to do that because I ain't your type, then it's all good. Well, who told you you weren't my type? You did with your discretion. I don't got no okay. type. It's all good. All right, so now is he your type? Yeah, he is somebody that would be my type. Okay. Yeah, very well dressed. You came with the collared shirt on. I love me some Chelsea boots. You came dressed for the occasion. You look good, got a clean cut. Not really with the shades at night, you know, but I can see through them. So as long as I can see your eyes and you don't have hater blockers on, it's all good. So I actually would. Yeah, he's my type. Let's head on back. <laughs> you should take that balloon back then. What's up? Uh-oh. I'm saying. <laughs> well, look at a big and nah, that's the first time I saw a big bag on here. Shout out to say, you should get that balloon back. <laughs> you should take that balloon back then. What's up? Uh-oh. I'm saying. I'm saying. <laughs> Don't listen to that, man. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> All right. So we do have three balloons left. Bro, once she said that, every, every guy there should have popped. You feel me? Every guy should have popped once she said, hey, you should take that balloon back. I'm saying. It's over with from there, bro. Like, no more. It's unpopped. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and have you ask the remaining guys a question just to help you narrow it down, see who's more of your match. Okay. So I guess I would first ask you guys, um, where are you from and what do you do for a living? Okay. Let's start here with your name and age and the answer to your question. Um, what the fuck is this? DJ Mustard? This nigga about to go make a beat, man. My name is La. I'm 40. Um, What's I'm your name? Excuse me? Your name? La. La? Okay. Yeah. La La, nice to meet you. um, pretty La much an La. entrepreneur. What the? I'm an investor. What? Uh, I'm into fitness. Uh, uh, university, Body State University, and also a restaurant, Supreme Empanada, in New York City. Okay. Supreme Empanada. <laughs> Nigga, you're not even Cuban or Mexican. What the hell? You talking about Supreme Empanada? Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, let's go to our next guy. Your name and age, and the answer to her question. Uh, Hubert, my age is 37. Hubert? Uh, my age is 37. I'm Hubert. Yep. Uh, I'm in software sales and I have a podcast. Okay, nice to meet you, Hubert. Likewise. Okay. We have one more down over here. <laughs> Why the All fuck right. Hubert make that face? We have one more <laughs> down over here. All right, your name and age and the answer to her question. My name's Chad. I'm 38. And I own a mobile pet care business. Oh, cute. Nice to meet you. Shout out to the mobile pet cares out there, man. They be making that money, bruh. In Miami, that's all you see down there. There be so many motherfucking vans and trucks that say mobile pet grooming, dog. I know they be getting that money. Hey, Chad. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> all right. Okay. Hey, okay, let's head on back. So it is time to pop a balloon. So I'm going to go ahead and hand you a pig. <laughs> there you go. Pop a balloon. Yes. So out of these three guys, I'm going to go ahead and have you pop one of their balloons. I couldn't ask a question first. No. Next round. <laughs> these two people only. Oh, my God. Okay. Mm, okay. Wow. Okay. Okay. Give me one second, please. Okay. Let me see here. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> That's nice. Oh, that's nice. Thanks. Wow. That's trouble. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. He the only one did the right thing right there. Pop that shit for she can pop yours. Like, she got options. Like, I'm an option to you, shouty. Come on, shouty. Well, he popped his. He popped. Let's come Let's on go. over here. <laughs> so, why did we end up popping Hubert? Um, The hesitation. Hubert. Like, I need my woman to be, like, know what she want and make the decision also um there are a few things aesthetically that i don't like so now you pop the you you had it unpopped bruh now you about to go through the shit that you why you popped it 
when you could have been popped that shit a long time ago for what you about to say um i'm not really big on like weave and if i can see a braid uh and then like like the what braid i don't see no braid i can see the bump in the back um the braids okay yeah. this nigga cap and um <laughs> he trying to roast her because he the tooth the tooth mm-hmm. what tooth okay yep all right look at arlette okay <laughs> she already made that face her tooth <laughs> Shout out to Arlette, man. <laughs> okay. well, is Hubert someone that's your type? I know you had a little hesitation yeah, when. Yeah, no, I mean, he is someone that would be my type. I mean, I, just again, based on the exterior, because I haven't heard anything from him yet. Yeah. Um, the dress code, yes. <laughs> uh, the demeanor on the facials, it's just giving, I don't want to be here. Um, but aside from that, um, yeah, he's somebody that I would probably, yeah. Thank you. Okay. I'll go ahead and have you ask the two guys a question that are left. Um, speaking of aesthetics, how are you guys when it comes to like your women and, um, consistency? I know some guys don't like a woman that changes a lot. Woman. You know, they want her to stay in shape. If she gains weight, they lose interest. Cause personally, I'm someone that I, when it comes to my hair, I change it a lot. <laughs> I have no braids, to be honest. I actually have a shortcut under here, but my hair is down my back. Um, but I've done different type of things with my hair. I am always changing. So how comfortable are you with the consistency of like how your women changes her hair or, you know, her gaining weight, losing weight? Um, as far as your hair, that's your hair. That's, hair don't make you, so it don't matter to me. Okay. Um, it's your hair, weight shorty. and stuff. I'm gonna try to look good for you, so you gotta always look good for me, you know? So I wouldn't want you to gain like 40, 30 pounds. I'm gonna say, baby, let's go get in the gym, let's go get it together, you know what I'm saying? But if you reluctant, then I might be out of there. I ain't gonna lie. Okay. Let's go down over there. That real? I'm gonna go ahead and answer a question. Uh, that would be no problem for me. I think that. Uh I just drew a blank right now. Uh, <laughs> that that would be no problem for me. I'd actually would uh, appreciate you coming with different styles and looking a different way. Uh, as far as the weight fluctuation, it didn't look like you would have too much of that going on. So. Thank you. <laughs> and the activities I love to do, uh, that would probably prevent you from even you know, gaining weight. I, I, I don't know why you'd ask that. You look great. but um, Well, I'm asking because, you know, I ha- I mean, I don't, I don't mind because he was so wrong with the braids. I don't. You want to take it off? Don't do that. You going to take it off? Somebody said, don't do that. Because <laughs> he was so wrong with the braids. <laughs> I, I think Russ. You want to take it off? Don't do that. Yeah. Don't you yeah. do I mean, <laughs> Russ said, don't do that. And, I mean, you know, I mean, why can't I? So. You still look good. See, that's the thing, black women. You should have you should have came out there like that. Why would you come out there with that wig on, shawty? You should have came out there with that shortcut. You feel me? It looked way better than that big ass wig you just had on, Shotty. Come on, man. Wait, why can't I? Yeah. Don't you? I mean, oh I mean, you know, I mean, why can't I? So. You still look good. You still look good. So should I keep it off or? Okay. <laughs> That's how you should have came out. You tripping? Okay. Lost the earring. Um, well, I'm glad but yeah, that. so that's yeah, why I asked because I'm always changing my hair. I go from short. I just was bald a few months ago. I have super long hair. I do all types of things, and typically I do natural. But you know, I came on the show today, so I was like, all right, let yeah. me try to yeah. do a little something. But this is. Bro, you should come on. You talking about do a little something? Not with the wig. You know, niggas ain't feeling wigs really. Come on, Shada, you look good with a short cut. This is me, so I just want to make sure you're okay with me and who I am. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Let's head on back. I, Let's sorry, head I had on to back. do it. No, you look good. You look yeah, good. I did it for you. <laughs> you talking about I had braids. I'm like braids. What braids? Right. Yeah, she ain't had no braids. Nigga was just cap right there, man. That nigga was cap. Yeah, I don't like 
I don't like the wig, you know what I'm saying? You know, I can see the braid up there, you know what I'm saying? Nigga ain't even no braids up there, man. You just, you should have just, just popped the balloon and just be like, yeah, man, you just took too long, shawty, that's it. But nah, you want to try to talk down. Like, come on, man, got yourself played. You played yourself. <laughs> okay, so our two remaining guys, any questions for our beautiful lady here? You got kids. Oh, hold on. I'm sorry. Here we go. You got a question over here? It's over here. Yeah. Do you have kids? I do. I was married for 11 years, so I had three wonderful children. Um, I have a cordial relationship with my ex-husband. We do. Bruh, three kids. You you supposed to, you came out saying all this. You supposed to let it be known. Yeah, I got three kids. You feel me? Like, don't wait till the end when the nigga trying to, about to leave off with you. And you be like, oh yeah, by the way, I got three kids. Like, come on, shout 50 50 so whoever my partner is he honestly doesn't the, a week my kids are gone <laughs> a week they come back with me so um they have a very active father so that wouldn't be a concern if that is a concern because that tends to be a concern at times you want more kids? i'm open to more kids yeah yeah i snap back <laughs> she said yeah i snap back you heard her more kids i'm open to more kids yeah yeah i snap back <laughs> <laughs> she snapped back Okay. I Did mean, end up popping? I, I don't want no more kids. I don't. I, I'm open to it. Open to I'm it. I'm open to it. I'm but not. to be honest, <laughs> I do have three. But that would be a decision that we would have to make. You don't want no more, neither do I. I didn't say I want. It's mm. not a. It's not a need for me. I already have three. But for example, I'm open to it if the, my partner wants it. Oh. Okay. I'm not open though. <laughs> and that's and, fine. And that's what and I'm telling you. I got you. two kids. Yeah, that's you know cool. That's cool with Spoke me. Them kids after that. Oh, yeah, no, no. I don't know about effing kids. <laughs> but I'm totally open. If I don't need to have any more. I understand. But I'm open to it if my partner is. But I, I respect it. Right. Okay. Any questions down over here? Let's head on over here. Any questions? Where do you live? I live in Florida. Fort Lauderdale, to be exact. Shout out to Florida, man. Shout out to South Florida. Shout out to the Tri-State, Palm Beach County, Dade County. Damn, damn, what's the other one? I'm tripping. <laughs> Where do you live? Vegas. Oh, okay, so you wouldn't be willing damn, to do long Vegas. distance temporarily? Too far. Whoa. I mean, because, listen. I'm I'll, grounded. I'll move for I'm love. At. I'm just saying, I'll move for love. I, The dating pool? There's fecal magic. You gonna you gonna up and leave with three kids for love, shawty? I mean, I guess that's real, but you, you gotta be. She probably got that guap then. You feel me? <laughs> right now. <laughs> so I can't be so picky anymore. I used to be super picky. He can't be you bald. He can't be this. Move? I'm. I'm. Yeah, I've had long distance Give me the balloon relationship. Back. Okay, let's get that balloon <laughs> back. <laughs> and I'm serious. I'm looking at you. I'm you looking, looking at me? You see I'm me? Looking at okay. You. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, like shit. I take that I challenge on. Well, well. Oh, what would he say? Out. And I got three kids as well. Oh, he got three kids too. So shit, they definitely gonna hit it off. I mean, I guess you ain't wrong for that, brother. You got three kids yourself. She got three kids. Hey, like she said, the Brady bunch. Y'all remember the Brady bunch? Well, yeah. the Brady Bunch, huh? Yep. <laughs> and I'm okay with that. I don't have an issue with that. I prefer men with kids. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let me walk you on up. Come on up here. Let's head. Next uh, time, leave that wig on. <laughs> Wearing that shit. Uh, nah, that was an know. accident. We know that was an accident. He tried to catch it. <laughs> no, like, no women like to change All their right. hairstyle, but. I have a final question. If there's no other questions between the two of you. Some braids or something. What's the question? All right, no so question. then, is it a yes for you, for her? It's a yes. Uh, is it a yes for you, for him? It's a yes. We got a match! <laughs> I'll take this mic, and you guys can go on up. Oh, give it up for them, y'all. <laughs> yes, sir. All right, let's go ahead and bring... Yeah, man, that's it for this video, man. She pulled the fast one, though, but she had to prove that boy wrong, you know what I'm saying, but... Y'all let me know down in the comments what y'all think, man. Rebo squeeze.